Hello my angels and welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie and today I have a fun Ulta haul for you guys. So I was in the mood for a few things and I saw how expensive things are and I just decided to try and find some dupes for a couple things that I was looking for and I believe I was successful at that. Um, I did search on the website first prior to going to the store um, but I did find some really fun things and I can't wait to show you guys so let's dig in. Now before I get into the dupes that I found I did want to address my hair so I had my hair done yesterday and um, I did not request Daenerys Targaryen but I got Daenerys Targaryen so I'm just going to embrace it for like a week or so and see you know how things work out. I did end up buying a purple shampoo now I've used this one this is the one actually that I used when my hair was more golden blonde um, and I love it so much. Um, it is the Clairol Shimmer Lights for blonde and silver and it's kind of smashed but I used it once today already um, because there was still some like toner in my hair I think so I uh, gave it a good wash with this and I did do a heavy duty deep moisturizing treatment on my hair as well because it was it's a bit fried up here so then I also picked up the violet toning mask by Clairol as well so that is by um, Clairol and it is the shimmer lights toning mask so I like this um, just make sure that you are if you are using these toning products on your blonde hair or silver hair make sure that you are doing deep conditioning every week because this stuff dries your hair out bad so this is a new product for me shimmer lights thermal shine spray so I decided to try this um, because I do blow dry my hair a lot. I like to use the straightening iron. I like to use the curling iron. So I wanted to get a protective thermal spray for my hair since it is so dry. So those are for this whole situation. So we'll see how that goes. Now the first dupe-ish product that I picked up is this pineapple exfoliating powder by Good Molecules. And I was looking for a little bit cheaper of an exfoliating um, cleansing powder for Dermalogica. I love Dermalogica's exfoliating powder. It is so nice, but it is so expensive. Um, this one, let's check the receipt here. This one only costs me... I had a coupon so I had a 10 off of 50 coupon so it ended up being $13.39 so you can't beat that whereas like Dermalogica's is like $50 I think 40 50 no it's definitely more than 40 it's closer to 50 um and then when I was over there looking at actually when I when I was looking at the reviews for this, um, people were saying they loved this and they also loved the Good Molecules Serum. So I started investigating this brand. I've never used Good Molecules before, never even heard of them. Started investigating them, found out that they are clean, uh, vegan, and cruelty-free, which is everything that I've been looking for in skincare and beauty products lately with my whole like infertility journey and everything. So, um, I looked into some of the serums and I did end up picking up a couple of their serums. Now this first one is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum and I just wanted to try this out because it says it delivers deep hydration to plump the appearance of fine lines which is what Hyaluronic Acid um, absolutely is known for. And now this Hyaluronic Acid Serum was six dollars i cannot even believe that so six dollars for a nice serum i was all on board for trying this out um, and then someone else in the reviews for this said that they also use another one of their serums um so i picked this one up as well and it is or not serums but it is the squalene oil and it's a lightweight facial oil that softens seals in moisture and regulates your skin's natural oil balance so i got the squalene oil to go along with the hyaluronic acid serum 
and the exfoliating powder. So I am so excited to give these a try. Um, I've, I had never even heard of squalene oil before. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. But there was a lot of positive reviews for good molecules squalene oil. So I definitely wanted to try it out. Now the squalene oil was $8. So that came to $8. So can't beat that for a nice facial oil and serums. Um, and then when we were over there looking at the like clean skin care um, products, they also had um, a, a huge favorite of mine. It's always a favorite of mine. And that is the Pacifica brand. Now Pacifica, they were clearancing out some Pacifica items and I was super excited to see that. Um, so I ended up picking up a few things that I saw. Um, and one of those is these um, glowing facial removing wipes in the, the orange, vanilla, and gly glycolic acid. And these were on clearance for a dollar nine, no, two forty nine. Sorry, <laughs> these were on sale for two forty nine. They were regular price. It doesn't say, but they were like well they were close to like seven or eight dollars so these were on clearance and I was excited to see that I wish that they had had more but you know you can't can't go wrong having extra makeup removing wipes on hand they also had a um, mask that was a dollar ninety nine and that is one of the kale and charcoal uh, this is a sheet mask that they had this was the only one that was sitting there, so I grabbed it up, of course, because I love their kale and charcoal detox line. And then they also had about three or four of the C and C Love serum. And this is a vitamin C serum by Pacifica, and it also has uh, marine extracts in it. So... I've used this in the past. I really liked it and I had planned on purchasing more. Um, this is normally close to $17 I think and I got it for $8.99 on clearance. So cannot beat that. Now last but not least I was looking for a good concealer. I opted for this e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer and I hope that this does a good job. Um, I have the other e.l.f. concealer that is a more matte and I was not pleased with that one. It's okay for like a few like really dark blemishes on the face but it is not the matte one was not working for my under eye which is what I predominantly wanted another concealer for because I am getting some dark circles um, that are a concern. I've been treating them with like skincare and stuff. Um, and then I want a concealer that does not, you know, settle into my fine lines under my uh, or in my dark, dark circles. So I needed a more hydrating concealer for this area as I poke myself in the eye. Um, so that's why I got this. So hopefully this will turn out nice. I did get the shade Light Sand. Hopefully it will not be too dark. Um, the other concealer that I got ended up being way too light for my face. So let's see what this looks like. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it is not too dark for me. Oh, I think that'll work, yeah. I think that that's going to work just fine. Boy, that blended in really nice. That's a darn close match to my skin tone right there. Okay. Well, I can't wait to try this out on my under eye and see how it goes. I will have to let you guys know. It says it is a satin finish. Um, hydrating camo concealer and... It has a nice oversized doe foot, which I think is nice for the under eye area. Um, and it is, like most of e.l.f. Uh, products, they're vegan, cruelty free, and fair trade certified factory. So, yeah.
can't wait to try it out. All right, friends, that is it for my Ulta haul today. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these products and what I picked up. Um, if you shop at Ulta and you've gotten anything fun recently, let me know in the comments below. Uh, let me know what if you've tried any of these products and if you have, did you like it? Did you not like it? You know, what were your thoughts on um, the product that you tried? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!